Samsung Slim Fit wall mount for 2021. This is compatible with the 2021 QLED range except for the Q80A. I don't know why yet, but I'll soon find out when I unbox one. AU9000 and AU8000. On the back, pretty much the same. Bit of gump there in different languages as well. Flip it over, we shall open it up. bit of poly in the top will lift that off. You've got these two sticky self-adhesive pads here. I've already looked in the instructions in one of these. So these will, these will stick to the back of the TV and then plates will bolt over and I think it's just to stop the plates that do slide about well it assists them possibly in sliding also stops them scratching the back of the TV. Cool. Wall mount installation guide which will go through step by step as well as I install it. So I'm going to install this after I've unboxed it. it does show us there, so I'm doing the Q95A. This suits the AU8000 and Q95. Two different arrangements here, 7.5 mil gap from the wall in the back of the TV or a 15 mil gap. Shows us there the self-adhesive self things there stuck to the back, both with the arrows pointing inwards. The correct bolt to use, say C2 and D, I will be using. I'm doing the 7.5mm gap to bolt these plates to the wall and the little hooks. Like I say, we won't concentrate too much right now because I will be going through this. And obviously we've got some foam pads, the correct thickness foam pads to stick to the back of the TV. Shows 15mm pads there. I think that's just to stop it banging against the wall, damaging the wall or the TV. Again, similar sort of story, but for the 15 mil gap and how we follow it. Also looking down further, we've got the same here for a QN800 or QN900. They're the 8K model, so whether we do the 7.5 mil or 15 mil gap as well. Onto the back, drilling the wall using the appropriate drill bits for your walls and fixing supplied. Sometimes I use my own concrete screws or I'd say 99% of the time I use my own concrete screws that drill straight into the wall. But it's up to you, make sure you have the relevant fixings if you're not using what's supplied. Put in the plates either side of the wall, that's that bit there. And then hooking the TV on with two of you 75 inch and below, 82 inch shows four people there. They are pretty heavy and so on, leveling it up. Putting in your one connect lead there and that's on those models there, how you connect your leads. So also in that box, we've got some paperwork here, which we'll be using as well. It gives you the relevant dimensions. If you know where the, what you want the bottom of your TV, for example, that gives you dimension D to the top holes on those plates that attach to the wall. Again, from your center line to say the second hole in on either plate, it gives you a dimension there. So for my 55 inch Q95A, it's gonna be 612 mil from the bottom of the TV to those top holes. And between the distance between those holes will be 180 millimeters. It tells us for all the different models and sizes, whether it's an AU8000 AU 43 inch or QN95 85 inch gives you the dimensions there. Same there, QN900, if you went for the 85 inch gives you the dimensions or a 65 inch. And that shows us there some guides on different fixings and drilling holes, different considerations for drywall, stud walls, concrete and brick. So all that's in here, two pages in English only, cautions when installing, so warnings there, what can go wrong, and what to be careful of, probably worth having a quick look at that. Getting into the packaging here. This is labelled as F, so following those instructions, it tells you which relevant parts to use, whether it's F or D or G, and where to use them. We've got two of these parts here. These are the parts that will be on the wall. One of those either side, that's F and E, same thing there. We've got A and B here. Again, get it out. Shows there L for left, 
And it also tells you on the instructions that is A and where to put it on the TV. That one and that one there, they will be bolted to the back of the TV. These bits here, these arms pull out so we can hook it on to one of those pipes. You have to pull it with a bit of force, it will click into the pipe and then it will fold back and there's a magnet there onto that tab to keep it flat against the wall and then I can pull it away to release, lift it back out, but it does take some doing to pull it down into there. Okay, so in this package, it's marked C1, C2, C3 and D. It also tells us all those contents, referring back to there, it tells us which one is C1, C2, C3 and D, and all the other relevant parts to be used. Okay, pull them out. With three 20 millimeter bolts, two 25 M8 bolts, and two 12 mil M8s, and it tells us on the instructions which TV they refer to. And these two plastic spacers here. The wall fixings, so some roll plugs and screws for brick or concrete walls. This part here. Depending on the model, on the models where we have the horizontal channels at the lower of the TV, again looking at the guide it will tell us. So those models like the AU8000 or AU9000 I did the other day, you've got this horizontal channel going across where the wires can sort of be gripped in. This part here will bolt to one of the bottom visa holes using the supplied M8 bolt just to keep those cables gripped in. Also, we've got K here, it says. So if I'm doing the 15 mil gap from the wall, we use those. I won't be using those because I'm doing the 7.5 mil gap. Also, we've got N1 foam pads. These are self-adhesive pads to stick to the back. Peel the backing off, stick them on. It shows you where to put them. That's just a bit of protection for your wall and the back of the TV when we're pulling it away and pushing it towards the wall. Also N2, same thing again, but a different thickness. So self-adhesive pads again. They'll be used on the 15 mil gap configuration. I'm going to be using the thinner foam pads. TV is now laid on a large flat surface, surface bigger than the TV. Make sure it's clean, soft cloth on there. So we don't want to be damaging the TV, that would just ruin the whole job entirely. So I've peeled the backing off that self-adhesive there. It goes over here and it states, oh, arrow facing inwards. Same for the other side. And if you're eagle-eyed, you can see that I've actually Put those back on. Forgot to press record after I'd stuck them on, so I've peeled them off, put them back on. And it does tell us on here we require parts A, B, those 20mm M8 bolts are C2, spacer there is D, and we can see it's got a bit that protrudes or stands proud there. So this bolt goes through the back of it, like so. B here marked R and that screws in like so. It also tells us don't have that fixed wonky, it wants to be straight so I'll just wind that in quickly. So I've got that pretty straight there, straight enough and we can see the purpose of that. It slides and that's supposed to slide and move about so that give us, gives us wiggle room to level up. Same for this side on there. Again I bolt through C2 and D, screws into there like so, not cross-threaded. Keep that plate straight, it does say not to put it on wonky. And that's that there, just gently nipped up. So we can see what these things here are providing. Gives us a, a surface to slide about on for when we're levelling up. Also, we can just see those magnets there that will go to the plate. So this plate's going to be attached to the wall. Purpose being, the bar comes out. So that bar comes out, hooks into here, like so. 
just so I can show them going back on. I forgot to record that bit as well. So it shows approximately there, 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 and there. It's not too critical, to be honest. It's just a bit of pad in there between the TV and the wall to protect both the TV and the wall. So we've got that piece of paper there that states the dimensions. I've marked a horizontal level line here with my spirit level and a pencil to mark where I want the bottom of the TV. I've then measured up 612 mil to here. That's where the top holes are stated to be for the bracket. Also put the spirit level up the centre, drawn a level centre line vertically and I've measured to here and here where I've pre-drilled they're 180 mil apart as stated it's different obviously refer to it for the size of model of TV you've got so 180 mil there and 612 mil up so I've pre-drilled because I'm in wood one two three four holes that side and this side so I can just screw my bracket in now you do have adjustment on this so it's not critical to get level but I'm going to put a spirit level on it anyway I like to just make sure it's level get the two bottom screws in I've avoided putting a screw there just in case it interferes when the bar slots down into there. I'm going to quickly do the same for this side. So again, 90mm from my centre line to that hole, 612mm upwards. Spirit level across them both so I can get them all level that is it so that's there nice and secure dimensionally it better be correct or I'm in trouble what I'm going to do next is jump up on here hook that TV on so those bars will hook onto those slots Okay, so if the camera will see, we can see those bars where they're coming out. I'm just going to hook them on there, like so. So they're hooked in, it's not done yet. I'll just move the camera. Okay, so the tricky part now, it's hooked on, but it's not complete. Those bars have got to push down and slot in, and they should click in. and see what I'm doing. Brill. They are in. Just going to get one connect lead in next blindly. That's it. That's clicked in. So you can hear that click back. So now I can pull the TV away. Those magnets should retain it and clip it back. Excellent. Brill. Spirit level on the top, just to level it up. Seven and a half mil gap from the back of the TV to the wall. So pretty nice and close. You can see there's an LG OLED next to it. It's the 55CX. That comes out at the top about 85 mil. At the bottom, it's about 80 mil. And if I just look what's obstructing, it's my one connect lead. Get that out of the way. There we go. Let's have a look. So yeah, maybe 33, 34 mil, to be fair, top and bottom. And again, pull it away. Takes a bit of force. It does take some force at first to push that down and click it in. But then when you push it back, those magnets will keep it flat, clicked against the wall, brill. And as an extra bonus, if anybody tried getting a TV off a no-gap wall mount, they'll know how hard it was. It was hard, you kind of had to try and force it up either side. This is a bit similar, so if I go up 
at the right side first with a bit of force and pull that out the same at the left so I'm kind of twisting and lifting and that is it off oh. and I've got a bicep injury so that's not fun <laughs> 